Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is a program review. This is a block three to four reps, week two, day three. I'm uploading this one back to back with, or actually, well, I'm recording this one back to back, at least the voiceover part with the previous day. Um, yeah, we have a couple days backed up. Uh, yeah, today we started with 380 pounds, a lot loaded up on the bar. Uh, actually, I forgot I recorded this first one. This first one, I completely, I forgot I removed the 25. So excuse that first clip. Um, yeah, so 380 on the bar. Uh, earlier in the week, we did 385, and that felt like a little bit above what we wanted it to. Um, I think it was an 8.5 for the lower rep range, and that's not perfect. So uh, we are sticking in the reps here. Uh, and this first set, I got fully in my head. It's not going to actually look too bad, but I don't know. I got in my head, and I only did two reps. So you'll see that first one goes extremely slow. Not happy about it. Set up for the second one. Slow as well. I didn't think I had a third one in me, but you know, also when you look at the video, you could very clearly tell that I probably did have a third one. I set up here, but I never actually go down. So yeah, uh, very unsatisfied, especially after I watch the replay for that video after this one ends. Um, so I load up, I keep the same weight on the bar. And this is not something I do very frequently, but because the RPE was high, but I believe it's still something attainable that I could reach. I stick with the same weight and I'm going for the same rep range. I'm going for three. Um, and I'll, I'll spoil it here. I do get it. It looks like an RP 9.5, but with the fatigue, I'm not upset about that. Um, not the best scenario overall though. It's better to just be hitting it on the first attempt. But at the end of the day, it's okay to have bad days. And I've been having a couple bad days in a row, but it's okay. It's fine. It's not the end of the world. Most of this video, though, I do want to be talking about the other stuff that I'm doing. Uh, I didn't record my bench. It was fine. It was good. Um, but the sumo, this again, if you've been following along, this is the first block I implemented. Excuse me. I started implementing sumo. And that was going okay for a while, but... It's not gotten tired already, because obviously it's way too early to get tired, but it's not feeling the best. I mean, I'm trying to lift four plates and it feels very sluggish off the floor. And I don't know, it just isn't perfect. And especially for what I want it to be doing, which is really just a compliment to my uh, conventional deadlift, it isn't working perfectly. Now, the idea for the compliment is that, first of all, I like the leg drive, right? It's gonna be helping with my squat, hopefully that I can't really do anything much to replace besides that another set of quads somewhere. And I want it to be very focused on the hips because if you don't know, for a sumo deadlift, you have to be very focused once it passed, the bar passes your knees to hip thrust forward. It's one of the key parts about it. And just because of the weights heavy and it just doesn't look that great, uh, it hasn't been good. So I decided to change this day up a little bit. We're gonna change it up so that I do rack pulls after this instead of sumo. And on the other thing is that I need to add in some kind of quad uh, movement because I do wanna be developing my quads further. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. We don't really have more to say about this. Gonna be abandoning sumo for now. I will eventually come back to it. So more specifically, when I get further into the off season, Maybe I'll add an extra day just to, you know, do it for fun, for shits and giggles. But yeah, for now, we are removing it. All right. See you guys in the next one. Peace.